we will, we will have 99 problems, but money and stress from money is not going to be one of them. Hello mga ka -investies. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Money Series by BPI Wealth. Whether you're looking to save more, invest smarter, or just take charge of your finances, we've got you covered mga ka -investies. And I am your investor, JM. And this time, we're going to be talking about how dual income households can effectively manage finances together. Today, we are joined by a couple who share a passion for fitness. And much like their fitness routines, they approach their finances with discipline, teamwork, and a clear set of goals. And as a dual income household, they manage their finances together, invest wisely, and grow their money that aligns with their shared long-term vision. So let's hear how they grow their money as a couple, mga ka -investies. Let's all welcome Enzo and Julia Bonoan. So, hello, Enzo and Julia. Kumusta? Hi, JM. We're, we're good. We're glad to be here. Yeah, so glad to have you here with us. So, before we go on further with our, ano, with our discussion, ano, I am seeing na medyo you're a really lovable couple. Na. So, siguro, Ay, man, uh, so, siguro ano, bring, us, ano naman, bring us a little bit back on how did you two meet? Oh, okay. Um, I hope you have enough time to share this. <laughs> <laughs> well, ano, siguro, uh, since it's 2024 now, we've been together for... Nine years, okay. Nine years. Um, we actually met talaga nung isang photo shoot tungkol sa fitness naman siya. Okay. When we met at that photo shoot, siguro wala naman ako, wala naman ako na anything, the relationship or anything. But I felt a spark na don kay Julia. Mm. <laughs> Ayan na. <laughs> yeah. I felt a spark on that day that I met her. So, uh, sabi ko, hmm. Mohong girlfriend material to, ah. no. pero I know. Um, I think <laughs> I, I, I wanna I wanna take her seriously, so I need to make sure na prepared ako. Mm -hmm. Cause I guess medyo, I was coming from a I was coming from a low place in my life at okay. that time. Pero ang kagandahan talaga ng ng siguro union namin ni Julia. Siguro yun yung naging catalyst for a lot of improvements in myself. Nice. So it's a love at first part. No. Yeah. <laughs> so Julia, Julia ikaw naman. so when you saw si Enzo ba, it, was it also a love at first part? I think what struck me about him was all the fact that he was into fitness because mm -hmm. that's already a big um something that I value eh. So the things that I value now we are both we're both aligned in is fitness, family and faith. So he really checked off the boxes for me when he uh shared when he opened up that he did have a happy crush sa akin. Ganun pa, pa simple happy crush. Um, I said, okay, if you plan to court me, you need to meet my parents first, go with me to church. And he was just all game for it. So that's what shocked me about him. Uh, do you have, ano ba? Do you have kids na right now? Yes, we have a current magiging two-year-old soon. So how was it ba? Uh, having, having a kid right now? Two-year-old, no? Two-year-old yeah. kid. Parang I would say I was quite motivated na noon. But by being a dad, I became extra motivated, more driven, and parang responsible. Responsible. Very, very inspiring, no? What do you love so much about being physically fit or your you know, fitness? Fitness is something that you really have to work on all the time. Aside from you know, building that um, growth mindset, you get to inspire other people to be fit also. And being parents, parang... We're able to do more and be more for our kid. So, lalo na ako, I'm a, currently pa rin a breastfeeding mom. Mm -hmm. So, it's very important for me to be to, to be fit, to work on my fitness. Kasi my, my child gets nutrients uh, from me and gets mm -hmm. her food from me. So, um, I need to be able to nourish myself enough to to feed her and at the same time be present sa kanya. Kasi we're... We really chose to be hands-on parents, so I'm with her most of the time. So how do you manage, how do you balance your routine, your fitness routines, and your being being a, a, ano, a wife, a husband, and parents? I think, um, well, as individuals, parang you kind of have to make it, you have to make it fit. One thing that really works for us is building systems. Okay. So system building, we're very passionate about because... Mm -hmm. 
Gusto namin set it and forget it eh. So, what we do is, we bring our daughter to school. Mm-hmm. So, sa two and a half an hours na, na she's in school, tangbo kami sa gym, which is just nearby. We make sure, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. We just make sure that the gym that we chose was just next to her school. Her school, yeah. So, instead of going home, we just go to the gym, which is walking distance, and then pick her up, head home. And that's been working for us, that system. When it comes to your finances, naman, mm-hmm. so you have your system in fitness, no? So, would do you also have systems and can you ano, kumbaga, bring us to your journey then towards your, yeah. ano naman, your financial fitness? Um, just like in fitness, nagsimula yun sa wala. <laughs> so, we did not have a financial well, system, at the very least for me especially. Mm-hmm. Um, si Julia, she was very fortunate enough that she was born into a family that that wanted to give her a head start. Mm-hmm. So, let, I'll let her share that later on. But as for me, I grew up in a family that eh, very much spenders talaga kami, JM. Eh. As in, my, my, my parents, they were really spenders. They thought that their idea of um, being safe financially is having a strong income. Okay. Which is, of course, one part of one the part, equation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I I graduated college without savings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was dating Julia. Al- alam ko true love talaga eh. Because <laughs> when Julia and I started dating, I, I had nothing. And I, I didn't have savings. I wasn't even earning much. Mm-hmm. Diba? Um, so, it was actually through Julia's um, influence na nagsimula na ako mag-save. Doon na ako nagsimula na to actually learn more about it. Mm-hmm. And that's where we started building the systems. So, when I was a baby pa lang, they made it a point to put in, they made an account na for me, they put in money in my mm-hmm. account every year, and they really, they didn't touch it. So this was, is with BPI also? Yeah, so I was surprised. Oh, nice. I was surprised now when I graduated, uh, no, when I got married, they were like, okay, here's what we've been saving up for you up until you get married. And I was like, oh my gosh, I already have this much money. But what's nice is that they've already taught me how to save not knowing that I ha- they had that or they set that aside for me. So my dad, every week when he would give me my, um, allowance. my allowance, he would ask, okay, how much of the allowance would you want me to put back in the bank? So I've been saving. Ako, I have my own savings and my parents had their own savings for me also. Aww. So it just compounded over time. And so Two I, decades. Yes, Two dec- three decades. <laughs> so I was pretty confident. So even if... I was taking risks in terms of my career. Parang I had that safety net knowing na I had that money. Bring, bring us back to, to being parents. So how did uh, the married life and parent life change your financial habits, how you save? Uh-huh. Okay, so I think that's where we really solidified our system. Na talaga na. Um, because when we were still dating, thankfully, nag rub off sa akin yung kanyang pag-save <laughs> and all. Um, <laughs> so, that's actually what gave us the confidence to get married. Mm. It's actually because I started taking my finances seriously. We started up with, we started having a system every month. Bale, the system was very simple. Income minus savings equals expenses. Nice. And then you just live off that. Right? So, because of that system, because of the... Thankfully, nakahabol. I would say nakahabol ako, di ba? That's why we became... We felt confident to tie the knot. And then we were like thinking, arbitrarily, arbitrarily, we would probably have our kid in 2024. Mm-hmm. And then we decided, you know what? You know what? I guess... I guess financially, we should be able to handle a kid yeah, already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... It's the emotional side naman. It's the emotional side. So I guess we just kind of like took the leap of faith. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we, we, had our, we had our daughter in 2022. And then parang, I think that was one of the best decisions we made. Yeah. Uh, we, thought, we thought that by having a kid, maybe we wouldn't be able to provide for her. But I guess by having the kid, it gave us an even bigger why to work harder, to strive. Also, maybe I can share then. Mm-hmm. When we got married... Um, we didn't know how to manage our finances um, finances together. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we sought help. We sought help. Um, and then um, we learned over time, we learned how to work together. We had joint accounts. Yeah, it was tough on my end because in my head, I was like, I saved this and then I'm going to share, share it with yeah. you. Like, oh my God. <laughs> like, are, are my emergency funds are going to, I'm going to share it with you. So it 
took me a while because as the say um uh, yung money personality ko is saver mm-hmm. whereas siya spender so mm-hmm. we i also had to to uh, parang learn to share and to sort of um see what works talaga for for the both of us kasi iba iba per couple mm-hmm. talaga mm-hmm. there's no one way to do things talaga yeah yeah but, so i think that's i know that's the way you really navigate the challenges so yun nga yung one challenge kay Julia is yeah. uh, how do i how do i <laughs> share <laughs> no how do i share yeah. and si Enzo then syempre how do i really start diba kasi previously i like to start mm-hmm. kabalang with your with your finances so again in fitness you have individual goals sabi mo nga sabi nyo nga it varies from one person to another just like in investments though no? there's no such thing as a one size fits all investment uh, yeah. right so how do you align your finances or your goals? Since, yun nga, medyo, syempre, kahit na you're already husband and wife, you're already parents, may some big differences pa rin. Okay, so, um, what we have now is that we have our portfolio mm-hmm. where each month, we have our own contributions. Yeah. Separately, we contribute from our own bank accounts into that portfolio and then, based on our goals that we have discussed, um, may allotment na siya. So, for instance, um, we actually have our emergency funds, uh, mm-hmm. ALFM, um, and it's um, na- nakaset na siya. That's actually the first thing we made sure nandun. Nandun. Oh. So um, in our case, it's six months of six our months. mandatory expenses that nakaset aside in case we lose income for six months, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then yeah, from there, we each fund in our portfolio has a certain purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, and those those per, um, those funds are in that portfolio are joint are of joint interest. Pero since as you mentioned, we do have our own differences. Then um, individuality. Mm-hmm. Julia and I have our own separate bank accounts. Okay. Therefore, um, at the start of the month, nagpapasok na kami ng ng contribution sa portfolio na yon. Pero whatever's left in our own bank accounts, we get to spend that freely. Mm-hmm. Um, so if uh, if Julia wants to have her nails done, uh, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Di walang kontra. <laughs> walang kontra. <laughs> walang ko kontra. Uh, um, basically, basically, um, it's f- ganun yung style that works for us. I know there are other methods yeah. then. Um, li- we are we are a dual income household, so that one works for us. Many people are now still on the old sabi nga old formula no na usual yung income minus expenses equal savings pero no kung, kung meron man matera diba pero you're you're now into the new formula ika nga the sa- the income minus savings and you added emergency fund and Correct. it's a very good part no so income minus savings minus emergency fund whatever is left would be your expenses mm-hmm. and yun nga kung may matera would be for for ano for whatever individual ano uh, na kailangan natin na gusto natin yeah. para we give something for ourselves naman after doing all of this stuff no and and speaking of investment, uh, Enzo and Julia, so as I, I know you know, there are risks in investments. Oh, yeah. So there's no there's no such thing as ano, as free lunch kumbaga, and there's no guarantee in investments. So with that, can you say na your risk takers or how do you balance risk? Um of course maganda na we also ad- addressed ano ba talaga yung risk appetite namin. And then we won't put everything in aggressive. We won't put everything that wants a conservative. And we think that we also have the advantage of time. Mm-hmm. So we will we put our funds based on a certain ratio. Okay. So what actually works for us would be 10% conservative, 20% moderate, and 70% aggressive. Okay. Um, that's ha- that has been working for us. Mm-hmm. Yung generally, yung 70% aggressive, this is money that we don't plan on touching. Um, twenty percent. This is money that we plan on touching maybe three, five three, years five down years. the line. Mm-hmm. Whereas the very conservative, this is money that we would not want to lose in case something happens. So as as I mentioned, yung, uh, we actually put our money in ALFM's money market. Do lam ni yung pera, um, but we make sure that we have that first because that's that's emergency eh, in case something happens, and then we can focus on um, the other parts of our portfolio. Given all these systems. Uh, how do you divide? Meron bang gano'n na, mm-hmm. na parang si, si Enzo yung dito sa, sa ano na to, sa financial responsibilities na to. Julia is for this financial responsibilities. How do you divide that? We actually did 50-50 on our expenses. Mm-hmm. Then when Julia got pregnant, yun, medyo nag-adjust na kami. Um, I believe back then we went from like 70-30 na. 70-30 na. We're currently on a 60-40. Yeah. 
how did your budgeting and how did your financials evolve as a single uh, individuals to being husband and wife and then parents? From the start kasi, because nga my parents instilled sa akin yung that habit of saving, I would say na it just added more parang direction to, I so in terms of in pagiging, ev- pag-evolve ng uh, financial habits ko, it's really being more intentional with where I put my money and being more responsible mm. with where I put my money. So, yes, I'm a saver, but the downside then kasi to it is I don't get to enjoy mm. much. So, yes, I would save, but then si Enzo, he adds the fun. Eh. He's the one who... <laughs> he's the one who... Uh, plans the travels and stuff so parang I'm no longer as stingy as I was before so I'm a saver but with with a purpose with a purpose <laughs> yeah, yeah. nababalance ko na yeah. what I brag nga about is how much how cheap I got <laughs> yeah. so it, it, did you know I got this for 30 for pesos, pesos. <laughs> hulaan mo magkano <laughs> that's what I brag about oh, parang yun na yung ano difference no uh, previously and yung ngayon no? so really looking at what you really want no Na, yeah. yan. So that's the evolution of, of yeah. you guys. So, kanina, Enzo, you've discussed about yan, investment to the LFM. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, diba? so, to help out with your with your system and your in, in, in your financial goals. No? So, are there any other ano ba, investments? So, you said a while ago, you have LFM Money Market Fund. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we also have the LFM um, Bond. Mm-hmm. Um, that one's for a little bit more moderate. Moderate. Uh-uh. Um, so, yung y- y- moderate portfolio namin na if we put it into our goals, the goals would be something like another kid, uh, maybe like um, funds for another delivery, um, funds for the tuition, mm-hmm. ba? Yeah, and then you know, uh, I believe kasi matagal na kayo nag invest with the LFM money market, mm-hmm. no? So previously kasi, diba, it was 5,000 pesos to start it off, no? Tama Pero as you know, right now, as I, I know you know, um, it's 1,000 it. pesos. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, uh, 1,000 pesos na lang. And it's very easy now. Kasi previously, I believe, no nag-start kayo, nag-fill up kayo ng forms and whatnot with the, with the, your branch of account, no? Right. Pero right now, you can, or, our mga ka can already invest digitally. So online, no? So ngayon, i-invest na. Diba? With the ever-changing landscape uh, digitally. So, ma- sobrang dali na lang mag-open. And, sobrang uh, affordable na lang. 1,000 pesos. No? So, mm-hmm. even pinababa pa natin. So, that yun nga, makastart talaga yung mga, yung mga, ano natin, mga ka-investes natin, no? With our investment journey. What are some of the strategies na you can also share with our mga ka Oh, one thing that has been helpful for us, even before we got married, was... Naka auto debit na siya. Auto debit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Para wala nang kawala. It was necessary. <laughs> it was necessary. <laughs> Set it and forget it. Oh basically. Um, I mean it helps build the discipline especially when you don't feel like it. It's a lot easier. So um, it helps build the habit, helps build the discipline without it being too hard too hard no? yeah and it's also motivating to see the number grow yeah you know, oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah and um you know depending then on our our current salary mm-hmm. how much we're earning there are times that we 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 check the number that's auto debited and we're like hey we can actually add more to that so mm-hmm. And it's a good thing, yun nga, yung dun pa rin papasok yung consistency stick into the blood with the auto-debit arrangement, no? And with our BPI investments, say LFM or our unit investment trust funds, you can do auto investments, yeah. no? Through the regular subscription plan. RSP, tama. RSP, yeah. So I think you're also doing it, yeah. no? Yung regular, yung auto-debit natin, so mga ka natin, so you can do auto, parang auto-debit arrangement. It's called, it's ano naman, an auto-investment arrangement, yeah. which is called the regular subscription plan. So, Actually, right now, kung yung minimum natin to invest is just 1,000 pesos, the RSP is even lower. You just need to buy one unit or one share. Yeah. So, you can do RSP na. Tingi-tingi lang talaga. Tingi-tingi lang ako. <laughs> Pero yun nga, sabi ni Julia, kahit paunti-unti, nakakita mo na lang, lumalaki na. No? It's slowly growing. So, ang gandang tingnan nga, yeah. ni sabi ni Julia na, kahit ano, nagsim- nagsimula ka lang paunti-unti, pero eventually you're seeing it na, ah, malaki na pala yung nalagay ko. Pero syempre, ano din naman, may mga times naman na gusto nating mag-celebrate. No? Oh, yes. yeah. Oh. So, how do you, ano, how do you celebrate yung mga milestones in life? Like, having a child, yan. So, being, getting married. So, ano yung mga paano natin sinaselebrate yung mga milestones na to in life? Well, I think Enzo mentioned na uh, what we actually like doing is traveling. Mm-hmm. We like to travel. So, it doesn't have to be like 
sobrang bonggang oh, travel. It's, it's within our means, of course. Yeah, Dapat within, within our means. means. Misa kasi yung mga, ano, yung iba, looking at investments as something na it's, it's difficult to do and it's not that rewarding. Pero, uh-huh. pero investing is also rewarding. Kasi nga, mm. you're, you have this peace of mind. Peace I of have mind. these investments. Yeah. yeah. So I can go for quick travel. I can go for a staycation because I have this setup yeah. for my other objectives, other goals in life. Yeah. So that's very true, no? Ayan. So, um, we've looked at this different, ano, different uh, milestones, no? So, ano pa kaya, uh, with our investors, ano pa yung pwede yung ma-share with them na, especially those that are starting their married life yeah. and starting to have children? I think, uh, I would like to first, uh, siguro this one can go to everyone. So, even, even if wala ka partner. Mm-hmm. Basically, you wanna keep learning, eh. You wanna keep learning more about what you can do to grow not just financially, but personally, then eh? I, I think I think growing financially is a byproduct of growing personally. You wanna be uh, deliberate and consistent with the number one investment, which is yourself. Yeah. That's still the number one investment. Um, so good, another one would be for the, for the for the partners would be to over communicate. Oh, Jim. Over-communicate. Um, it's bet it's better to over communicate than to <laughs> under communicate. Um, that way, uh, actually, what Julia and I do is that we have a non negotiable once a week meeting. Um, and this meeting is um, my schedule, siya, my my prayer coming in there, recite sa umpisa yeah. palang. Um, it's, it's like a, it's like, it's, a, like it's like, like, like we have a meeting. Yeah. It's like a professional meeting. Yeah. Kaming dalawa. <laughs> oh, oh. That's worked for us, definitely. And siguro, last na lang talaga would be discipline. Um, this one really goes then sa fitness. Eh. Um, discipline, I would like to define it as doing something, even doing the thing that you should be doing even if you don't feel like doing it. Mm. By, by being disciplined, by being disciplined, you'll be able to do the things that most people don't get to do. Eh. Mm-hmm. Um, so, if if you want if you want to do something, if you want to change your life, then you have to do it day by day. And in order for you to do it day by day, you have to do the things that you need to do day by day, even if on that certain day you don't feel like doing it. But in this case, um, uh, investing, it's a monthly thing. So, nakakatulong talaga sa amin yung set it and forget it, uh, auto debit, RSP. That's been very, very helpful. Well, I guess he said a lot of the things that I wanted to say. I'm maybe, sorry. <laughs> but maybe just ano, to add lang. Kasi, syempre, in order to be, to really stick to that goal of being financially fit, you also want to be able to surround yourself with like-minded people. If you're going to be, well, I was exposed to uh, a lot of spenders. Mm-hmm. But um, I decided, okay, I can be the influence to help them, yes. you know, save. With all of this being, you know, disciplines, taken to the plan, um, how do you see those things uh, really uh, no, uh, give benefit to your lives right now? I think it's ultimately the peace of mind. Peace of mind. Having yeah. peace of mind to uh, do things. Like now we could, when we buy food, I guess it's like we don't really check the, the right side the right side anymore. <laughs> so kind of just little things we're like, oh my uh-huh. gosh, we've gone such a long way from, you know, parang dep- we look at the price na, ganon. Mm-hmm. So, you know, having that peace of mind na we can take risks because nga we have that parang safety net diba, to take those risks. So, yeah, um, actually when we got married, um, the the priest said um, one of the main reasons why couples have problems is actually money. Mm. So, you know, basically... We will, we will have 99 problems, but money and stress from money is not going to be one of them. Right. Oh, sabi nga, the, the first thing to uh, to solve a problem is to know that to there's a problem, no? to, to really, ano, to really uh, look at it. No? And uh, yun nga, we have learned a lot and yun nga, you're risk takers, but you always look at ano, ano ba yung, uh, balance out of all of these risks. No? So, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Julia and Enzo, for those very, very wise words. No? <laughs> so, many of our investors would surely, would surely ano, uh, be uh, using some of those. No? And again, I personally would be using some of those. So, during our money series, no, I'm learning a lot from, from our different guests. No? So, and thank you very much for sharing those, those things to us. So, again, sa ating mga ka-investors, no, uh, just like Enzo and Julia, uh, invest early. And invest early so that you will live comfortably. Yeah. And with that, 
hashtag live your best life. Sabi nga, hashtag live your best life. Ayan. So, again, thank you very much, uh, Julia and Enzo. And that wraps up our episode, or another episode of our hashtag money series. A huge thank you to, to both of you, Enzo and Julia, for sharing your unique insights on how to be financially fit as a dual income household. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications of our latest episodes. Follow us also on Spotify by searching Wealth Radio so you will never miss a new episode. And if you're ready to take the next step in your financial journey, i-invest mo na yan, mga ka Click the link on your screen or in the description box. Until then, keep investing in yourself and in your future. See you in veggies!